Good morning and welcome to your class in uh, research methods in agriculture. So we are now, we have finished the discussions on region one. So on the introduction, which talk about the scientific methods and comparison between uh, science and common sense. So we are now on statistical tools, Mujutu. So I would like in this video, I would like to invite you to um, watch the videos on basic statistics as a review of your statistics um, lessons. If you have done statistics before and if not, uh, you thoroughly just watch the video here and this link as our um, main main reference for this in this chapter. So just watch the link and also under statistical inference, this is of, uh, also part of the general statistics, which also a review on the uh, statistical inference, um, statistical, statistical test, um, multiple regression and correlation, um, sampling error and variation and the understanding about ANOVA. So just watch the following video. So, and for this, uh, and also for the sampling techniques, I already have a video here. And so you just um, watch the, the link and the, the reference and also on statistical software. So we have, I have here, uh, you just watch the link you know, on how to use ANOVA using the Excel, using the SPSS, using um, the SAS and the bus as well as ASISTAT. So that would um, introduce you to the different statistical software available. You know, and so um, under design and analysis experiments, so I'm just going to explain to you there's also a link here. So in this video, uh, I'm going to dis, uh, discuss the slides, which was uh, in courtesy shared by um, uh, Singh University Merut you know, on experimental design in plant breeding. So uh, by um, Kumar. You know. So this this in this presentation, I gave. So in this presentation, um, we will talk about terminology. Good morning, ma'am. Hi, good morning. So I, I just have a brief. Sabak kayo dari ang mama, siling. So, um, so, sige lang, padayon lang. Anyway, recorded my video. So, um, I, I, had, I just have introduced a while ago na nasa module 2 na ta, statistical 2, since this is a tutorial class. So, um, so far, we are already in, we have um, day 1, day 2. This is our third, third meeting na, no? Day one and day Ma'am Dean, nag-turn in ako, ma'am, na check ni mo sa katong RMA nga study, ma'am, yes, na kong i-propose. Yes, na-receive na ako and then I will still um check on it. Uh, okay. Na i-check na ako. So, uh, this is our third meeting na, so since limited lang atong ano, naan ako yung mga video ipang post to explain. So, under, yes, under kay Mujuto naman ta, so, the basic statistic na ano mga ready video nga, imuha na lang siyang tatawad. So, i-click na lang yung mga Okay, ma'am. Well, statistical inference. And then, nag, nag, nana ba kay statistic sa una? Humana na, ma'am. Humana. So, you know already this one, so parang review na lang ni sampling techniques and also uh, mga statistical software. Kung gusto ko, kung mga ano lang siya, mga link, no? We have, uh, we can actually ask uh -huh. ano by using Excel. So ito yung link kung paano. 
And also, if you have SPSS, kasi uh, may bayad itong mga software. So, and also, Asistat, no? And um, SAS. SAS talaga yung ginagamit for agriculture. And SPSS naman is for general, no? Sa education. And pwede rin siya sa agriculture, but um, mas usually ang SPSS ay for education or social studies. And Asistat, yung pinaka-favorite ko dito sa lahat. Actually, I have used everything, all of this software, pero yung ginagawat gamit ko until now is itong Asistat. So we are now on, uh, I will discuss for today the design and analysis of experiment. No? Um, Diretsyon na ta sa, in this video, on the um, introduction, mga principles ng experimental design. So application then and then the types of experimental design and different characteristics. So have you remember about um, analysis of variance, of course, Gabe? Um, kalimot nung sa stat, ma'am. Uh -huh. Ang sa sta, ang stat na ko, ma'am, kay related sa forestry. Yes, it's all the same, no? Sa, sa ah, okay. nature and so on. Quad, quadrant, nga na. So, pareho pa din na. So, in, in also here, plant breeding in all uh, agriculture sciences, pa, pareho rin na siya. So, let's just have a ah, review okay. on experimental design. So, actually, we, this is already, ito, we are talking about design and analysis na, but uh, in basic statistics, dito mo pa, uh, in statistical inference, dito mo, uh, we will learn about analysis of variance. No? Ito yung pinaka, and then sa analysis of variance, et, ito lang yung measure ng uh, kung paano malalaman yung var variation, no? kung meron kang meron kang um, different variables or one or more factors or variables. Unlike kasi kung dalawa lang, kung isa lang ang variable mo and then um, dalawa lang ang comparison mo, so you use t-test. So malalaman mo rin yan on different statistical tests. No? You just have a review kasi um, just to comply yung yung um, yung quizzes. Kasi ultimately, anyway, as time goes by, we will, even me, I can, I, I, oh, we can anyway forget this kung hindi natin talaga ginagamit unless na magiging statistician ka someday. But for me kasi, ginagamit ko yung ANOVA at, at, at saka mga design, experimental design for, for my researches. So it's very, Doon lang din ako nakafocus. So anyway, um, we'll try to be quick as possible uh, since okay naman ang iyong, iyong ano, yung signal. So let's define what, let's define what is design. So whenever an agriculture experiment is done, we use certain scientific statistical procedure and we call it design. So it, it therefore refers to procedure or it would be defined as various types of plant, arrange, plant arrangement which are used to test set of treatments to do valid conclusion about a particular problems. And when we say treatment, ito yung under comparison. No, and experimental material is used uh, is used in the experiment known as experimental material like the field, the soil, the seeds, etc. And units are small plot of the block to which treatment can apply are called experimental unit. And the whole experiment is, is just a scientifically planned method. No? The experiment conducted to draw a valid conclusion about a particular problem. So the conclusion is based on statistically observation. And experimental error, the variation due to environmental factor or due to uncontrolled factor. So um, it's called experimental error. Another term is uniformity trail. So it consists in dividing the whole field in so small units of equal size so they have no need, 
know the nature of the soil in in a experimental field and we also have sampling unit the object that is measured in an experiment and may be different from the experimental unit so um, experimental unit we call them the the field but in sampling unit ito yung mga sample so why do we need to design the experiments? Uh, for instance, in this case, in breeding. So in developing new varieties, kailangan talaga siya, no? Problems with regards to the estimation of difference between candidates and testing their significance are not considered. Getting an answer to a question which experimenter wants to know, no, whether effective ba siya or not, no? Simply by uh, knowing, knowing an a fertilizer kung effective is not, no? The average value of all observations in population and that it will keep the design as simple as possible while satisfying the required level of scientific soundness. So it's how uh, science measure the validity of your research. So when we say experimental design, it's the choice of treatment, the method assigning treatments to experimental units and the arrangement of experimental units in various patterns to suit uh, the requirements particular problems commonly known as design or experimental design or other words process of planning and study to meet a specific objectives so this was developed actually by fisher no, in 1920 so the objectives of this are the following to increase precision ng experiment to make it precise reduce an error screen off on various treatments, partition variation into different components, and use proper interpretation of scientific result and drawing valid conclusion. So how would we know that you can recommend this as an efficient, as an effective, or you can draw a conclusion? So by only through scientific results, no valid conclusion. And reduce the soil heterogeneity, and we know that Every field is very heterogeneous, no? So we, we just try to reduce it using statistics or design. In assessment also ng variance and covariance show the direction of better results and includes the plan for analysis and reporting of the results. So um, please take note na we skip the two last uh, topic, no? Kasi meron na akong link ng video na sinensayo. So, Please try to look it, to look that out for you to understand better before the design. No? So there are basic okay. principles non experimental design. We should know the replication, the randomization, randomization, and the local control. So replication is just the repetition of the treatment under investigation. Kaya we we always say in our method na nakapagganda ka na ba Gabe ng ng research? Not yet. So, una ma'am, kuan din kaning sa English, gani din kanang second, kani English to? Aa, uh -huh. English to. Then, oh, yeah. Social research. Okay. But in, oh. uh, but we are um, actually focusing here on agricultural. So, in agriculture, we use, although we both use social research and experimental research, pero, Pag meron tayong um, treatments, so we use the experimental design. So we always say that the treatments are replicated three times or four times. And then we say randomiza randomization is the allocation of treatment to the different experimental units in a random plot process or randomization kasi wala kagipili, no? Umuha lang siya, well, dili siya pinili, meaning random lang ni maski asa without considering any anything no? and the local control the principal make of making use of greater homogeneity in groups experimental units for reducing experimental error so mga ito yung control mo like um when you have treatments you should also have control yung yung natural lang siya walang application for all, otherwise so there are types of experimental designs. So we have um, randomized 
block design, completely randomized design, Latin square design, and the uh, RCBD or randomized complete block design. We also have split block designs, augmented design, and lattice design. So more of this is actually also shown in this link, no? Statistical Manual for Forestry. And although I have given you um, two references, yung kay Gomez and Gomez, so my medyo, um, mas gusto ko ang arrangement and, and, and nitong, um, itong nasa FAO, no? So, which better would, would, uh, would help you better. So you can also choose between the two. So next is for the randomized block design. So again, it's developed for fish by Fisher in 1924. And um, it's not homogeneous and fertility. It, this is used if yung ating material is not homogeneous um, and fertility gradient is moving one on, on direction. So usually, um, Ginagamit ito sa field. So lahat ng field cross, uh, studies are randomized block design. So the number of equal plot in each block is equal to the number of treatments. And this is based on three principles again, replication, randomization, and control. So is, it is divided of equal blocks and these are used uh, commonly in agriculture. So this is an example of the layout of the our randomized block design or RBD. No? So meron, as again, meron siyang block, three blocks or three replication. And there are five treatments. So in one block, nandito ang one, treatment one, two, three, four, five, which are arranged randomly. No? In the second block naman, nandito ang treatment one, two, three, four, five, which is again not arranged properly but randomly. And the third block also have the five treatments, which are arranged. So usually para marandom siya, ginabunot bunot lang nato. So I, I I guess it's very clear. So ang advantage ng R, RBD is that it's more efficient and accurate compared to CRD. And if yung especially if the material is very heterogeneous, madaming differences or error, and not the number of treatment is more than 20, no? So dapat although na siya sa lab, pero mas maayo siya sa RBD, RBD siya kapag na asa daghang treatments. The chance of error is also less, no? And statistical analysis is simple and easy. And uh, when also one value is missing and the errors are can be isolated. However, it's not advised for very large number of treatments. No, more um, like maybe more than the 20. And if the heterogeneity of the plot is very high also, so this is, this cannot be applied and the number of treatments is large, then the size of each block will also be increased. So there may be heterogeneous blocks within. So usually must advantageous pag madaming blocks or replication. So, so CRD naman um, is uh, used if the material is limited and experimental units is homogeneous. Like in the laboratory, usually lahat ng mga crop protection ng mga researches are CRD kasi um, pag nasa lab ka or nasa isang room condition ka, the same lang most probably ang, or especially when you study fungus, bacteria, and single factor design, and the control is not allowed, adapted you know, in this design. So um, design is especially used for pot culture experiments, example, and the number of plants is equal to the num number of plots is equal to the number of replication and treatment. And the design is based on uh, replication and randomization only. Okay, so the characteristics are the following. Uh, it's only applicable when the experimental material is, again, the same, homogeneous. 
and usually if alimbawa ma if 100% or 99% sure ka na pareho lang condition ang solution you can actually apply that in the field no and crd is not preferable in field experiments no unless nga as as i've said kung uh, you are 99 to 100% sure that it is the same and usually sa lab experiment lang siya and uh, it's usually wala na siyang control and the advantages is easy to understand and calculate the variance. So, iba kasi ang analysis of variance for both CRD and RCBD. So, if you if you um, refer to the book of Gomez and Gomez as well as um, yung Safao, na manual, so iba ang kanilang mga, um, ang kanilang, uh, what they call that, formulas to solve it. So, ang advantages nito is easy to easy to understand again and uh, any number of replication can be used the number of replication may vary from treatment to treatment and high, high flexibility and thus any number of treatments can be used simple statistical units are also required and it provides maximum number of degree of freedom how um your advantages nito However, the disadvantages is uh, can be applied only na sa homogeneous experiments and uh, wala kang uh, control is uh, negligible. So, ang layout nito is just no, uh, if you have um, four treatments, A, B, C, D, so kahit saan siya ilagay or anything, no, any, maski saan na kasi homogeneous naman siya randomly. So sa Latin square design naman, it uh, controls the fertility variation in two directions. Kaya siya called na Latin square design. So the two-factor design may represent row as the level or one factor and the column as another factor. So the experimental materials is divided into rows and columns. So each having the same number of un experimental units equal to treatments and the treatments are allocated to rows and the columns such that each treatment occurs only once or only once uh, in the each row and in each column so in other words you at new lsd is adapted for eliminating the variation nanda dalawang factors generally called rows and columns so simply ito yung design niya so sa column one means just so this ito yung blocks no block one or replication one two three four so bawat column have um row one two three four or naka split siya so the number of replication is equal to the number ng treatment so one two three four and the number of rows or the number of columns is equal is equal to the number of treatments so so there are four, so in the, it's just also the same with the uh, RBD, but in LSD, meron sa, sa each replication, um, for, sa row, by row siya naka-divide. So sa isang row, an, may, dapat meron dito lahat na four treatments, as well as, as each row, meron lahat siyang four treatments sa third and fourth row as you notice and each column also have the four treatments no so you notice but these are all arranged in random so i hope you get it so ang difference lang niya sa rbd is that my rows each column or replication so a latin square is called self conjugate if its arrangement in rows and columns are the same and it's where experimental material is divided into rows columns and treatments by randomization method and each treatment occurs only one is each row and each column so this is applied in a field experiment animal experiment and also experiments on a long strip of land kung medyo mataas yung area 
So, ang mga advantages nito is relatively simple compared to CRD and RBD. And it's simple if also if there is one value missing and efficient design compared to CRD, RBD. And the standard error is also less than one in this case. And the dis well, however, the disadvantages is it's not suitable for agricultural experiments. It's complicated when two or more values are also missing and the treatments are more than 10. So the number of treatment 5 to 12 no, not, is no more than, no more treatment or less treatment. So you just, um, so usually kaya RBD ang ginagamit for treatment. So, so ito yung mga comparison between the three, no? So CRD are homogeneous, heterogeneous, both ang RBD and LSD. In, in terms of number of treatments, any ang CRD more than 20, ang RBD 5 to 12 lang LSD. And in terms of replication, it will vary, not depending sa CRD. And for RBD, the same for all treatment, but not necessarily. And the number of replication is equal to number of treatment in LSD. So again, for the randomized complete black design, RCBD, this is the, uh, the next um, uh, the next RCBD is one of the most commonly used also in agriculture, especially in plant breeding. And it's, it has blocks, replication of equal size, each of which contains also all the treatments. So if you have like, um, for black one, um, do you have all, already have all the treatments here? So if you have four, if you have four treatments, no? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So it is randomly distributed in this block. Second block, first block, second block, and third block, no? But um, it is, again, in one block divided into two, no? Um, if you notice, meron siyang um, two, four, six, eight, no? Na, 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 ano din, na naka-blocks din, no? And in this, naka, that's why tinatawag siyang random, complete block design kasi um, in nakarandomize siya with kahit sa ang block. No? As also the same in treatment. So if you notice, then merong A1, A1, 2, 3, 4. No? Although magkaiba yung kanyang split. So here, the four treatments, the four treatment and five blocks. No? In each, there the there is an experimental unit in each cell. So, ito, four treatments here in block two, four treatments also in here in three, four, and five. This is another example. So, yung characteristics ng RCBD is, it's very, it's a standard design for agriculture experiment. And lahat uh, have similar experimental units grouped into blocks or replicates. And used to control variation in an experiment by counting for special effects in the field greenhouse. So example nito yung fertility or drainage differences in the field. And the advantages are more precise than CRD. Walang restriction on number of treatment or replicates. Some treatment may be replicated more items than others. Missing plots can be estimated and whole treatment in therapies may be deleted. And experimental error is heterogeneous, so valid comparison can still be made. So in this in this design, it's only in this design that a, a, a replicate may be deleted or even whole treatment, no? And in the end. So this is very the one that is really widely used for for agriculture. So the disadvantage naman ito is error DF niya is smaller than that for CRD. And um, there are larger variation between experimental units or blocks and a large error term may result. And there are missing data. So RCBD may be less efficient than a CRD in some sense. 
So another design is the split block design, no? SPD. The experimental plots are split or divided into main plots, subplots, and ultimate plots. So there are several factor studies simultaneously with different levels of precision. And some of them require larger plots like irrigation, new plowing depth, sowing dates, and other required smaller plots. So if this is field one, two, three, and four, so uh, dapat naka embedded na yan dyan, uh, fertilizer A, uh, irrigation, fertilizer B, you know, and so on. So, so SPD or split plot design, all factors are not of equal importance and cannot be tested on small amount of material and require large one for the purpose. And the advantages is very useful if the factors are not equal importance, such as the, the uh, required larger plots and other required smaller plots. When some factor has small amount of material, they can also use a subplots, ultimate plots in this design. However, the disadvantage is the layout and an analysis is very complicated compared to RBD and LSD. They provide lesser degree of freedom for the estimation of error variance than RBD. So augmented designs is developed by Federer in 1956. Palabok. This is an experimental design used to test a large number of germplasm lines, limited area and error estimate with the help of checks varieties. So it helps uh, evaluate large number of germplasm lines and used in other designs that are not appropriate due to large number of entries. And in, in this augmented design, the goal is just to compare existing the control treatments and the new treatments that had experimental constraint or limited replication. So I have actually have not used this design compared to usually RCBD and RBD and CRP. So in this experimental lines are replicated only once and checks of course in each block. This is to use estimate block effects and provides error term, term and need a mechanism to adjust for field variation. It's also difficult to maintain homogeneous blocks when comparing so many genotypes. And the advan advantages is to evaluate more genotypes to test in more environments. And fewer check plots are required than four designs with systematic repetition of a single check. This provides estimate standard error that can be used for comparison, 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 com comparing genotypes between new genotype and check varieties. And observation in, on new genotypes can be adjusted for field heterogeneity. So flexible SHA, which means blocks can be of an equal size. So um, this augmented design is mainly used for breeding, you no know, plant breeding. However, the disadvantage is the resources are spent on production and processing and control plots and relatively few degrees of freedom for experimental error reduces the power to detect differences among treatments. And unreplicated experiments are inherently imprecise no matter how sophisticated is the design. So, and lastly for the lattice design, it's an incomplete block design and developed by Yatis and result if, if blocks are grouped into larger blocks and the large blocks from form a complete block design to provide elimination of soil differences by the use of two different groupings on the same experimental plots. So in the alpha lattices, this is used when the large number of genotypes, treatments, and small area. So there are no checks varieties for estimation error error checks also within the same varieties. And alpha lattices are used to reduce the effect now with incomplete block risk variation, provide risk cost free increases in precision, precision in trails, and also provide repeatability, especially in trials. And it will permit removal of incomplete block effects of plot residuals. So maximizes also use of comparison between gen types in the incomplete block. So characteristic again are resolvable in, in, in incomplete block design, which is very unique. 
work on com combination used for, food, for field trial also. Treatments is fixed and more flexible in choice of S node or the number of blocks in each complete replication. So the number of treatments equal to the number of blocks times number of units per block and, and uh, as, as shown here. So the advantages of this is allows adjustment of treatment means for block effects and, and turn, in, in turn brings benefits uh, small incomplete blocks which have variety comparison under mere homogeneous condition. So this is again provides effective control with replicate variability and use in breeding. So thank you for listening, Gabe. And if you have questions regarding uh, different experimental designs, you just ask any questions. Do you have any questions? Okay, uh -huh. Dean. Yes. So um, it's just, you don't really have to know, unlike so quizzes naman is open no so you don't really have to master all of this no and and you just go back to your notes or to the link links when whenever you encounter kasi mm -hmm. kasi oh, oh kailangan mo na so again, for experience no kahit pumasa na tayo sa statistics and so on makalimot agya punta no if wala na tayong ginagawa <laughs> Nakalimot kayo ko. Ako lang nadumduman kayo ka ng quadrant. Maray nga itong style. Kaya naka-experiment mong gusto quadrant ang gamit. So, i-focus lang ni mo kung say. So, sometimes kasi pag hindi tayo statistician, you can consult any statistician or you can do your uh -huh. own self-study no, kung which design to use. So, the, I have also here very um field plots, no? For agricultural research, also the same. No, for it's also the same with what we have discussed a while ago. So, eto parang ano lang ito parang pang specific lang talaga siya. So, eto yung kung R uh, CRD, RCBD, and this is very specific sa kanang fertilizer studies for field layout. So, ano yung design and split plot design and how to analyze, no? And uh, it's better that you also try to, uh, like if, kasi sa ano, sa Excel, ang statistical software lang ata ay ANOVA and T-Test. And yung mga different, uh, like, like uh, the DMRT, Yung mga statistical test, you, uh, you just go back on this link. Um, LSD or HSD, wala siya sa ano, wala siya sa Excel. So, pero na siya sa SPSS and SAS or ASISTAT. So, dali lang man siya. Kung kabalo ka mag-computer, mas makabalo ka dali sa unsa paggamit sa Excel o unsa paggamit sa kanang SPSS. Kaya naman siya step by step na available. Apelin. Yes. So, this is just to, you know, just to introduce to you and just go back on later kung magamit na ni mo kay kung when, kung if you are, you venture into research, no? So, our for our next topic, we're go, I'm going to show you the, um, for the research types, uh, you this are this are also in video, so um, you just watch the reference, no, and for the rest of your time. And for for if you know the fertilizer and pesticide authority, is kung magiging researcher ka, um, I want to share this. Actually, I've been speaking a lot no sa FPA before, and this are my presentation, and I hope I could um. I could um, also kanang encourage you to become an FPA fertilizer, uh, FPA researcher, no fertilizer and pesticide na siya. So the next topic, ito yung ating e discuss. So sorry kung pili on lang nato ha. Anyway, met na video links, so it's just the same with uh 
with uh, an actual discussion only. So if you have questions, then you can ask me anytime. So okay. i-check. Ako sang i-check imuhang i-submit ha. Kay title man to no? Oo. Ko. <laughs> i-check lang sa din kung pwede to kay kung dili magbunaw na ang control. Uh, so i-suggest na ako sa imo kung mag um 